episode 134. Dude. Wow. 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 Let me see you, Shane. Let me see how 134, you 134, baby. Let's get it. Okay, we sound checked. Mm-hmm. I, I just literally stopped the tape that fast, mm-hmm. sound checked. Bam, we sounded mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. fucking good. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. What's up, bruh? Wow. Yo, we got a text from Billy in the group text. What's he saying? I don't know. Let me check real quick. I think he's bullying. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's always talking about subreddit. Yeah, he's bullying on Reddit. Calm down, subreddit. <laughs> <laughs> How about that, dude? That was a big surprise this week for a lot of people. That was when Worlds Collide, Power Man 5000, dude. This is what it's like. It's <laughs> so collide. funny. So funny. You ready for me? Because I'm ready yes, for dude. you. Wah! Power Man 5000 is a shit. I used to love that. What's, what kind of genre is that? Like it's like industrial, industrial metal. Industrial, yeah. It's fucking sick. It's like pre, it's like techno metal. I don't know. Love it. They had weird shit going on. Cool I love outfits. It. And also, it's weird too. All the um, country rap, I feel like, is becoming like a big genre. That's two worlds that are like, once they collide, they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, both of us are pretty similar. Yeah, I think there's a lot of similarities lot between of like. like I'm the... down on my luck. <laughs> yeah. Things are hard. But I will prevail. But I got to keep pushing through. The I don't country... trust women. True, dude. I don't trust my baby. It is very much like that and very much like God centered. Like, I'm the best. I, I was actually this. Uh, yeah, only God can judge me. I'm a rootin' tootin' boy. Yeah. I mean, that goes, to that Tom, the that goes back to the truck. Thomas Sowell book, Black Rednecks and White Liberals. Same that's thing. A, that's a fucking sick theory. Sick theory. I was thinking about fucking zaddies all day long on Zaddy? Father's Day. On Zaddy. Yeah, 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 on Father's dude. Day, just thinking about all the zaddies that like love God and fucking still cheat on their wives. Why are you like, calling them zaddies? It's just a zaddy, dude. If you're a zaddy and you just like love, no, you, it's, it's like are... Pitbull. Pitbull probably like really actually believes in God, but like can't stop cheating on his wife. I think zaddies are just anybody like a young hot chick likes. Really? She's like, thanks, zaddy. I thought zaddy. Wow, I zaddy. A zaddy would be like someone who just provides for you like financially. True. And, like, it's like a sugar you. daddy. Yeah, like a yeah. zaddy. Thanks, but I feel like zaddy. daddies can be zaddies, dude, if they get a little bit of wild street going. I think that yeah, because they can like. There's a lot of successful like businessmen that like get younger girlfriends and like put them up and just kind of like store chicks in different buildings. And sure. Be like, I'm gonna leave my wife. I swear. I and promise then, like, you. Once they get them hooked on that life, it's like for like four years. Yeah, man. It's like, kick them to the curb. Yeah. People like, were complaining about DiCaprio for only fucking young chicks. Dude, he has a hard line. He has a baby lady, baby girl line. At 24, he leaves them. Before 25, he never dates anyone over 25. So they're going to start coming at him. But and they were like calling him a pig for that. Now this it's is... like, dude, he's the fucking man. Okay, so the, now the collective women unconscious is rearing its ugly head, dude. That's like their main yeah, jam yeah, yeah. up in life is younger chicks. So it's like, all right, sexual assault, no doubt, with you on that. And it's like, whoa, dating... Oh, you're telling me this brilliant, successful actor... Has to date an old hag. Same thing with R. Like Kelly. Ye self. Same yeah. thing with Kells. Yeah, the only reason people have a problem. The chicks love it, dude. The only people have a problem is because they're hot. True that. And seventeen. True that, dude. <sighs> Come on. Nah, dude, bro, I hear you. It's just it's a it's a tough There's spot. that someone made like a graph of everybody he's dated, and, and where he stops their dating age? them. Yeah. Every time at twenty five, which is a I sick mean, move, dude. Yeah, dude. Do we need to bust out the picks? It, do we also need I to even discuss you, this? I guarantee you, if I busted out the pics of the chicks he's dumped and the girl he's dating now, I could clearly be like, "Oh, he made the right choice." Yeah, he continued to we, win. We could make this. We could do the the you know the science behind it. Like, well, this chick's young and hot. This yeah. chick's old and crabby. She he turned twenty five and became crabby. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's, it's every single time he was probably on a boat, and once she hit twenty five, she was probably like, look at all these girls. Ew. Like, yeah. how young are they? What are they doing here? Well, imagine, too, it's like DiCaprio is equipped to, like, take women out on just, like, I don't know if you ever saw The Millionaire Matchmaker. It's like Millionaire. <laughs> no. It's just it's a dumbest show. It's like millionaires are so fucking busy that they, like, hire this lady to set them up with chicks who only want to date millionaires. <laughs> whores or whatever. <laughs> whatever, whatever it is. Dumb whores, you mean? Yeah. So then, like. Or every woman. But every date starts with, like, I figured we'd hop on the helicopter. And yeah, go see like a dinosaur museum and then like build clay from like, it's like they'll go like dig up like an archaeological grave and like then go out to dinner on a helicopter. It, all the dates are like so like DiCaprio is probably taking them on like 
Yeah. Imagine if you're like on a huge boat on the south of France and your girlfriend decides to fucking give you put any on her fucking pant. lip. Yeah, dude. you're probably like I dare you. I mean, it must be so hard not to like bin lot in her in the first place. Just fully be like whoosh. Yeah, dude. Get her on a dinghy, send her back to shore. Be like someone's there, they'll pick you up. All your stuff's at the hotel. Imagine putting a babe on the timeout, dude, on the high seas. Just send them yeah. on a lifeboat. Just back tie to the land. tie the rowboat to the back of the yacht. Give them about you know forty yards out of That's sea. That's where your babe starts walking sideways like a crab on <laughs> land. <laughs> well, it's tough because I feel like women are genetically programmed to become like they have this secret quest to become fat and mean. And like when you get, when I'm telling so you, I'm, I'm just a grown woman, yeah. dude. I'm just a grown fucking woman, dude. You're just a kick ass, just woman, a mean dude. fat idiot, dude. I'm telling you, I think they like they really have it, dude. Like tell a chick that you, if you tell me like, hey Matt, you can't have a cupcake, I'd be like, if you make it a sufficient case, I'm like, all right, yeah, you're right. I probably don't need yeah. cupcakes. You tell a chick like, you don't need that. They <sighs> fucking freak, dude. Even on like a even like not on like an aesthetic thing, just be like, yo, that's like a that's a lot of sugar. That's kind of bad. I can't like, dude. <laughs> Brittany worked out like twice in the last two weeks, and today she's like, I think I'm gonna get stromboli, and I'm like, fucking stromboli. She's like, well, I don't know. Like I've been working out a lot. I'm like, dude, stromboli so is a strong <laughs> meal, dude. I'm like, so you think you deserve fucking three D pizza? <laughs> not even pizza. You need like to add like, I, different dimensions. I even stray from bully, dude. If I see a bully coming down the pipe, I'm like, all right, I don't need that. That's crazy. Dude, think of someone who ate pizza and was like, it's not bad. If only it kind of went out into another dimension. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I just slapped the... a fucking hoagie on top of this. Yeah, dude. I'm like, you think you deserve like it? And like, like I'm going to let my hair down. I'm eating a strong bully, dude. That's a fucking, that's like, <sighs> an, that's a meal designed to just ruin you. Yeah. Strong bully. I've hit, I've hit a fucking. I've hit a solo bully fucking <laughs> delivery order. I've hit a bully, dude. They open that fucking place it's like right fucking, by here. That's like shameful. There's a place right by here that only deals bullies. No, it's a is shop. It inside out pizza. No, it's uh, inside out. Strictly deals in bullies. This dude. place only sells bullies. What? And you know, I've, I've hit it up a couple of times and immediately been like, Jesus, Christ. I got like a buffalo chicken stromboli. It was so disgusting, dude. It was just <laughs> fucking cheese and buffalo dude, sauce. Dude, Stromboli, they should set up Strombolis the same way they do safe injection sites. Where, like, you have to go under supervision. And someone's trying to talk you out of it the whole time. Yeah. Like, look, you're man. Like, you shouldn't be doing this, but if you're going to do this, here's the Caesar salad bully. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do it under direct supervision. Here's the grilled chicken bully. You don't. You don't need the fucking. She hit me with a. I literally. Steak. I literally oh, sold. I might you. get a bully. After I this. sold you. I was like stromboli. Stromboli, <laughs> dude. I was like, what the fuck makes you think you need a stromboli for fucking lunch? You're gonna be sick. You're gonna be ill after you eat this. Yeah. What's the difference between a bully and a calzone? That's been an age old question I think for it's me. Just the tan of the hands that make it for you. Really? Is it a wop or is it a fucking butt fucking Greek? Really? Calzones are Greeks. Are you sure? No, I'm saying. I hear you. Though. I think calzones are are Greek, though. So. Why are you calling them calzones? Calzone, dude, and Jaros. <laughs> it's a calz calzone. A cal now you got me fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think calzone is yeah. Calzone's made by a Greek. Is this is the first time you have switched to calzone. Calzo have you been calling no, I, call calzone? Calzo I call them calzones. I was just calling calzone. Right. I was calling it calzones and stromboli. I like calling it stromboli. A stromboli. I was like, what makes you think you need stromboli. a stromboli? Yeah, you got to hit it, that hard syllable. But yeah, man, if you... Uh, Let them know it's like totally foreign to you. You got to see who makes the... So if someone makes you a, a stromboli or a calzone, you challenge them to a wrestling match, and they try to butt fuck you, that's a calzone. That's obviously made by a Greek. That's how it works. And if they're like, hey, hey, take it hey. hey, whoa, what are you doing here? Hey. You if they be, hit you with you that, rest like, I'm not fucking gay. Yeah. Dude, the guy did that. I was watching... Uh, oh, this is crazy. What? I was watching the fucking Toronto... <laughs> this is that's how busy I was today. I was watching the Toronto Raptors parade. <laughs> they had their championship parade. No, dude, this TV was it was insane. I just didn't expect it. It was insane. So you watched a parade? I all right, so How I was charged like, up were you? I was flipping I got so mad, dude. <laughs> what? Fuck Canada. You weren't parading? Bro, I was flipping through the channels past NBA TV, which was airing like you are an old lady. the Canadian broadcast <laughs> yeah. of this. Uh why was I here? You were here. Oh, today. I dropped off. I figured and then I got went off. and got my hair cut. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, I was watching the victory parade. <laughs> and the, what was funny is I was like watching it like, damn, there could be a shooting. This is live. Why? There was a fucking shooting. I missed it. I had to go Stop. get my hair cut. There was a fucking shooting. You Nostradamus is shooting? I fucking knew it was coming. There was fucking five million people in one spot. 
It's like, Drake, somebody's going to have a handgun there. <laughs> Drake's there. But uh, they. Uh, you think the shooting was tied to Drake? Well, first off, I, th- I looked it up. I think only two people got shot, and they're okay. And then they just kept giving speeches. Like, there was two million people in the crowd. They literally were okay. like, all right, two people got shot. Statistically, Let's Keep yeah. this thing fucking moving. Keep rolling, yeah. We're not going to shut this down. Who? What was the shooting over? Did they know? Uh, I think they were like, it's not a mass shoot. Like, they were like, it's nothing. So it was two black It was people. a regular shooting. It was a black person. Okay, so like this If is I a- had to guess... I don't know. You don't know? But the way that the, everybody was just like, well, it didn't seem like it was... Anytime it's black people, they're like, well, that was a normal thing. They were just like, no, <laughs> just like, 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 yeah. He was targeting someone. That's They were probably fighting. Yeah, they're like, well, we searched the scene. There was no manifestos. Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, keep it going. But uh, what was funny was... <laughs> so the reason this whole thing caught my eye... Sure. ...was right when I turned, like... Turned it on for a second because I'm not. I didn't even watch. I'm not gonna watch a fucking championship parade. Sure, but it was Canadians just fucking gloating about being Canadian. Ugh. So this is this all goes back to when Kevin Durant got hurt. Mm-hmm. He got hurt in Toronto. Which first off, Kevin Durant was hurt going into this. He like tried to play on yeah. a fucked up leg. It was like heroic. Yeah, and then he blows his Achilles out. Damn. And the fucking arena starts cheering. It's a bunch of these fucking Canadians who bragged the whole time about how fucking nice they were. A dude blows his Achilles out, and the whole place is like, Wow, we the North, we're going to fucking win. Like, all this gay shit. Yeah, he starts... Like, it instantly made me cheer for Golden State. Oh, for sure. I was like, these guys stink. Yeah, so man. So they've, they've got this... Uh, and I, they hate Native Americans. They hate them. They run them off the Canadians land. Canadians hate Native Americans, dude. Mm-hmm. It's unbelievable. The Inuits... Yeah, they f- it's crazy. Although I've heard the Eskimos and Inuits are dirty people. You don't want them around. Really? I'm with the Up Canadians. In Canada? You gotta get them out of here. Not me, dude. You like them? Yeah. I do. I, I'll I'd give you fi- that. I would fire them up. They kind of have the same disposition as Ruiz, the fat, fat lad kings. Really? Yeah, the fucking Inuits. They were stocky. I thought they had like Inuits uh, are stocky boys. They had like shredded Conor McGregor's. Inuits. I don't know. I, I mean, are all the wait? You thought are all Canadian the Native, Native Amer- Americans were like Vikings that just you stayed of, there, dude? I thought they were like <laughs> no, no. I thought they, they were like night wolves. <laughs> no, they look like they look like uh like cartoons of Eskimos. What? They're like fat. They look like Mongolians. They have fat natives there. Yeah, they look like Asians. So the native population of Canada was fat boys. Yes, they had what? to be fat, dude. They're up there in the cold. Yeah, but is all Canada like an Arctic? No, country? no. But I'm talking the Inuits up north. Oh, because that's, that's like the main No, beef. they had regular like Native Americans. Gotcha. By like the lakes and shit. But then they had the fats up And then they had the fats up by the by the pole. <laughs> the fats are up there fighting bears. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. Anyway, so I'm flipping through the channels and it gets to these Canadians and they're just bragging about how great Canada is. That's all it is. They, first of all, everybody talks about how great Canada is as far as like being like humble and nice. Yeah. These are arrogant cunts for such a shithole country. Yeah, dude. They're like, and they were like... Sh- Throwing shade at America the, the whole time. World, right? They're like, look at this crowd, how diverse it is. That's what makes Toronto so great, is just diversity. Look at there's people of all different races and colors and genders. It's beautiful. It's like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, dude. Come to Why fil- are you doing it? They said that the whole time. Have they ever not been to like a city on the East Coast? I don't know. I guess not. It's all it's also kind of weird to like minority shame people. Yeah. Like, look how many minorities we have. Like, bro. look how many fucking weird Asians we have here. <laughs> this is awesome. We got fucking Chinese that love basketball. That's what this is all about. Yeah, it's almost like dude, our minorities thing, are cooler than your minorities. The whole thing was they had a fucking flyover from the Canadian military that called the Snowbirds. The Snowbirds flew over. The fu- like, the, like, like, wow. the extension of like the Rocky Mountain Patrol? Yeah, that's... Like the Bobbies, the English Bobbies on horses? The Mounties. Mounties, yeah, 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 but they look like they're dressed the like birds. bobbies, yeah, yeah. They can't, they never let go of England, dude. Yeah, the Eng- England's still on their money. They got the queen on their money, dude. Disgusting. Canada's dude. fucking pathetic. Disgusting. Dude. Disgusting. Tories, dude. Bunch of fucking. They never got. They never fucking overthrew Ugh, them. Jesus. Oh, they never did, did they? No. Wow. Nah, Trudeau was there. Trudeau was in the crowd. Yo, Trudeau. <laughs> Trudeau like completely sold out the. Uh, like the natural resources of Canada. Now he comes out as like he's like wearing like all this cool garb. He's dressed like a Native American. He's dressed literally dressed like a Native American. I was yeah. reading shit about him. Apparently, like he's like let them just lay waste to that land, like oil and all the shit. Trudeau's a fucking phony, dude. Of course he's a phony. But like I was reading this lady. Who we've all, we've been on that. We tip know. of the spear on him. I know. We hated him since the first time we saw him. It's like great fucking message, dude. Yeah. It's not not disempowering. It's more because, dude, I was I was literally last week talking about that how they just like get these like shitty male 
personas, like women who like have like they get this like nasty like assholeish male. We've, I mean, I've been talking about that for a while, like with comedy. Yeah. Oh yeah, female dude. comedy is just like oh we we we're bros. Yes. Like so, I was like sucking dick the other day, and I was like, <laughs> "Fuck it, I'll just get another abortion because I'm fucking out here partying." It's like, that's not comedy. Yeah. What are you doing? That's the exact thing you hate about douche male comedy, dude. It, it's mind boggling. Yeah. yeah, you said that a while ago. Every movie, well, they're just remaking old bro movies with girls acting like bros. Yeah, it's weird. It's like you know, I gotta get some dick tonight, and like, oh, you're crazy. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Oh, the funniest is when Ooh. you pulled out the new archetype of the fucking uh, Asian, Asian hip hop who, Asian hip hop Asian. They just dude. broke out a new commercial with uh, uh, two chains and some Asian lady getting like getting their nails done, and they're talking about the iPhone. She's like, "Yo, get this! I had to delete my picture of my grandma to take a picture of my grandma. What's up with that?" <laughs> And two changes, like damn, that's crazy. True, it really is, and it's just like holy fuck, we're really doing this. Yeah, dude. Although the demographics, I fuck, I saw this interview and it was talking about how now they're trying to uh, advertise the millennials, and the um, the demographics have shifted big time. Where you, it was like seventy something percent white, now it's like fifty and fifty. It's like fifty percent white, and then there's like fifty percent non-white, basically, in terms of demographics to advertise to now in the United States. Mm. The demographics have shifted big time, dude. Well, everybody can get behind black people. Yeah. When it comes to advertising. And the, well, the thing is. So it's is, like Asians can act black. And that's Fire the thing. that up. You're gonna, so, yeah, you're going to have basically it's like. This like, goes for everybody. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, it's like now it's like hip with enough white people. Most minority. Well, there's some stodgy fucking minorities who are going to see like LeBron James who are going to be like, meh. There's like some old white men, Indian men kicking around. Right? Yeah, but they're not, you know, they're not buying Sprite. True, they're probably not really bothered by it either. Yeah, my, my dad, I got to witness, because there was a Sprite commercial that I knew was going to fucking kill my dad. What was it? I knew it was going to kill him. It's just like, there's one of just Migos mm -hmm. in like a mansion riding like kids' tricycles. Yeah. Dressed like Migos, screaming gibberish like Migos. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> hey! Yeah. Uh, sprite uh. <laughs> like just complete gibberish dressed like fucking retards yeah and and then it's like sprite obey your thirst <laughs> like just shit they yell <laughs> thirst <laughs> like uh and that's the whole commercial and then the other one's ray shremmerd those okay. two kids in a in a dorm apparently where someone's making beats and they're like hell yeah that's it sprite. and it's just like sprite lemonade do they ever sip it and go ah yeah, they do that. And they're nice. doing, like, fucking dances and all that shit. It's great. But I just knew for a fact. Because, first off, I barely <laughs> recognized Ray Shremmerd. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I saw them, and I was like, that's Ray Shremmerd. Otherwise, the commercial makes zero sense. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just two black dudes that are horrible at acting. <laughs> like, it just makes no <laughs> sense. Like, guys. obey your thirst. <laughs> like, real bad. Yeah. And uh, I, I knew it was going to fuck with my dad. And during the NBA Finals, I, I got to watch him watch that. What did he say? He was, he was like, what the fuck? fuck was that <laughs> he was just so mad he saw he's like what the hell is this it's like who the hell is this for that's so it's just funny. migos riding kids tricycles through like a oh, it's so funny dude like versailles that's... like this beautiful mansion yeah it's it's amazing what the hell like what the hell was that he's just sitting there <laughs> drinking drinking vodka out of a plastic cup in the dark and like an undershirt. It's just so like, funny to think about what the that. Fuck is going on in this world, dude? To think about that is projected across America and have like a bunch of dudes at the same time, like ugh, ugh, <laughs> just ugh. dudes in recliners, like what? What the fuck, dude? I was listening to the radio last night and they named like four or five artists that I was like, all right, I'm officially fucking yeah. out of the loop. Yeah, apparently it's like one of them, light skin like, Keisha or some shit. There's one that's like Billy Elliot or something. I She's heard... like the number one. I had no idea who yeah, she was. Dude. I'm still. I thought Cardi B was like the biggest sensation or whatever. Oh, I saw a great Cardi B commercial. What? You would love it. I was watching YouTube videos, and one of the commercials is a Pepsi commercial. And, oh yeah, she's like the Pepsi. And she's thing. like, "Fuck, I forget what she says." She's, he's like, "Could I get a pe a Coke?" They're like, "Oh, or could I get a Pepsi?" And she's like, "We only have Coke." And then Cardi B's like, "Brr, brr," like <laughs> just does that noise, and everyone's like, "What the hell was that?" And then like a black tranny is in another booth, and it's like. <laughs> starts making the noise and then they're like pepsi that's it what the it's chaos dude fuck? it's wild well they, i'm telling you they they've had a hard time figuring out how to advertise in 
general, aside from race, it's not me that's throwing a dip. I'm getting fired up. I'm mad about it. You better dip. Mad about that black tranny in the diner knowing how to. And you're like, what? Dad, sit down. Dad, don't. What is it? What the fuck is that noise? What is going on? Why can't I have coke? He's like, where are we, son? (laughs) Think how confusing that has to be for an old dude. Yeah, to see. A Ray, Ray Schremmer, like, be like, hell yeah, Sprite. <laughs> You're just like, what the fuck world is this? Wait till he's 80, dude. That's, like, I was, I remember my, my pop-up just being, like, utterly confused, dude. That's why. He would just watch sports, cable TV, the news, and just drink beer and sit in a recliner, and he must have had no fucking clue Every commercial, every commercial break must have just been chaos. But dude, we would talk about the internet. Oh, he would, like, he would look at them. And it's like, I don't think he understood anything they were saying. And then look at me and go, ah, and like laugh. And I'm like, all right, dude. <laughs> like a Liberty Mutual commercial. I'm like, oh, I guess it's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when geezers like a commercial. Oh, yeah. Like, they'll be like, look at this. Check this one out. It's like a Geico, like hump day it's like, commercial. Know, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, yeah, that's good. Dude. Drinking, though, drinking and like watching baseball, and then it cuts to a fucking Cardi B Pepsi commercial. You literally must just be like... Imagine seeing a fake ass. You just get launched into space at every commercial break. You're just oh. out in the ether, <laughs> floating like where well, am I? He has uh, ass implants. So imagine like not knowing people can have ass implants and seeing an ass that big and just being like, "What the fuck? What the fuck?" Like humans are evolving before your eyes. You're just yeah. like, "What the?" Just fuck bottom is of this? the fifth inning. Phillies versus Reds. <laughs> All of a sudden, you see a new body you've never seen. Somebody going. Brr. <laughs> You don't know what that is, and you're like, no, I don't. Yeah, I was just home. I was just uh, my fucking grandma. Oh yeah, she's getting close to biting the dust if she hasn't already. She hasn't yet. She's fucking survived. She's a fighter, dude. She is a fucking I'm mean old. On. She's a mean old Irish fucking. I hope she lives forever. She might, and that's kind of. It's funny to hear my family be like, ah. <laughs> like they. She was like on her deathbed, and they're like, she might not make it through the night. She and then the back. next day, my mom came back, and she was standing, fully clothed. Like walking what? around, talk- she was wearing like clothes. Sure, she's not a ghost. She might be a ghost, dude. <laughs> she said she was like talking to people and shit. Damn. Yeah, there was like some sad moments where she was asking for my grandpa. Really? Yeah, and he's dead. She'd be like, "Well." She'd be like, "Yeah." It's like, "Well, just is there him. for that?" Hold your breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold your breath for as long as you can. Here, You're gonna meet him. The, smell this pillow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's it smell like to you? <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the states just legalized uh, voluntary euth- euthanization. Nice. Yeah. Well, like I heard the commercial. It's like it's my life and my. I'm like <laughs> the commercial is fucking Migos, just like kill yourself. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> <laughs> skirt. You need to fucking skirt out of here. Yeah, dude. it was like a commercial for like killing yourself, and I was just like, what the fuck, yeah, dude? dude we're like, already like, there. We're already dads watching baseball. Oh, dude, I'm fucked up. You're in the recliner in between. Luckily, it's just like, I'm out. Huh? Of, I'm huh? like luckily off Facebook and all that shit. Mm. I can't imagine just that daily dose every day was fucking me up. Of just opening it up and being like, what the fuck? Yeah, I got on today. I was telling you about that tweet. Joe Biden tweeted out some shit that was like, America was built on the the middle class. Like, we need to help them. And so one of our black friends was like, slaves built this country, you fucking piece of shit. It's just like, dude, come on. Yeah, it's like, come on, Still man. fucking slow down. Yeah. Every day I just get on Twitter and it's a different person just spewing shit that's like half true. Yeah, man. It's like, just shut up. You don't know anything. 